All right, let's do question two. Uh, menthol vapor decomposes to form carbon monoxide gas and hydrogen gas at high temperatures in the presence of a, pa of a uh, platinum catalyst as represented by the balanced chemical equation given. Are the hydrogen atoms oxidized or are they reduced in the forward reaction? Justify your answers in terms of oxidation numbers. So the reaction that's happening is uh, the menthol vapor is decomposing to form carbon monoxide and two hydrogen gas. So let's let's look at the uh, oxidation numbers for the hydrogen atoms. Um, the hydrogen atoms on the product side are by themselves, so they're going to have an oxidation number of zero. And then the ones on the left hand side, well, uh, hydrogen can either have a charge of plus one or negative one based on what it's with. Um, in this case, hydrogen is going to have a charge of plus one since the all the atoms that is bonded with are nonmetals. It would be negative one if it were metals. So hydrogen is going from plus one to zero, so it is being reduced. Reduced, and uh, it's because the oxidation numbers are decreasing. They're getting reduced. All right. In the following box, draw the complete Lewis uh, Lewis electron dot diagram for the carbon monoxide molecule in which every atom obeys the octet rule. Show all bonding and non-bonding valence electrons. Let's total up how many valence electrons we have to keep track of. Carbon has four and oxygen has six, so we have a total of 10 electrons. So let's start by making a single bond. And uh, if we drew the rest as, um, as lone pairs, that wouldn't work. You have six and six, so 12 plus two, 14. Um, that's way too many electrons. So it wouldn't be uh, just one bond. We could try two bonds um, and similar problem. You have eight valence electrons and four uh, bonding electrons, so that would be 12. So let's not do a double bond, let's do a triple bond. And so you would have two lone pairs on each atom. And this totals up to 10. Uh, you have six uh, bonding electrons and then four valence electrons, um, or uh, lone pair uh, electrons. And that, that totals up to 10, which is exactly what we need. All right, let's do C. Um, the values of the standard molar entropies of the compounds involved in the reaction are given in the following table. Um, use the data in the table to calculate the value of the standard entropy change delta S in joules per Kelvin times mole for the reaction. So your standard entropy change is going to be the sum of all the entropies of the products, uh, products minus the sum of all the standard entropies of the reactants. And if you remember, your reaction was your menthol, um, uh, and then that decomposes into uh, C, H, or C mon carbon monoxide and uh, two hydrogen gas. So products, let's do the products first. Um, your product is carbon monoxide and two hydrogen gas. So 198 uh, joules per Kelvin times mole, and then two times your hydrogen. Since you have two uh, hydrogen molecules being formed, you would need two. Uh, you would need to multiply that by two. So Kelvin times mole, and then minus your reactants. Um, and the only reactant that you have is your menthol, so 240 uh, joules per Kelvin times mole. And we could do out the math for that. So 198 plus 2 times 131 minus 240. That is uh, 220 joules per Kelvin times mole. And that is your answer. That's your uh, change in standard entropy. Let's go to uh, two. Calculate the value of delta G in kilojoules per mole for the reaction at 375 Kelvin. Assume that delta S and delta, or assume that delta H and delta S are independent of temperature. Well, your free energy, your delta G is gonna be your standard entropy minus T delta S standard. Um, and we know all of these values, right? Your delta H is going to be given all the way up here. It's going to be 90 kilojoules per mole. So 90 kilojoules per mole minus 375 uh, Kelvin times your uh, entropy. That's, that's what we just found out right here. Your entropy is actually given in joules. So let's convert that to kilojoules. 
so 0 0.220 joules over Kelvin times mole and that'll give you your free energy your change in free energy so 90 minus 375 times 0.22 it is about 7.5 kilojoules per mole and it's positive uh, 7.5 kilojoules per mole and that is your change of free energy all right let's go down the following particle level diagram shows a representative sample of the equilibrium mixture represented by the following uh, by, by the equation given uh, use information from the particle diagram to calculate the partial pressure of carbon monoxide at equilibrium when the total pressure of the equilibrium mixture is 12 atmospheres well your partial pressure so partial pressure of carbon monoxide is just going to be your total pressure times the mole fraction of the carbon monoxide and you know all this information um let's do this in green your total pressure is going to be 12 atmospheres and we can find out the mole fraction of the carbon monoxide if you look at your diagram you have three molecules of carbon uh, monoxide and you have a total of let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten molecules so your mole fraction of carbon monoxide is going to be 0.3 and if you do this math out your partial pressure comes out to about 3.6 atmospheres so your partial pressure of carbon monoxide at equilibrium is 3.6 atmospheres let's go to e Write the expression for the equilibrium constant Kp for the reaction. Remember your equation, your reaction equation was the menthol decomposing into carbon monoxide and two hydrogen gas. And so your Kp is going to be based on partial pressures. It's going to be the partial pressure of the uh, reactants over the partial pressure of the products. So partial pressure of carbon monoxide times the partial pressure of the hydrogen to the second power uh, since you have a coefficient of two here and that's over the product so the partial pressure of your menthol and that is your kp expression let's go down the following system represented by the equation is is allowed to achieve uh, equilibrium at a different temperature the following table gives the partial pressure of each species uh, in the equilibrium mixture Use information in the table to calculate the value of the equilibrium constant Kp at the new temperature. So remember your Kp was your partial pressure of the carbon monoxide times the partial pressure of the hydrogen over the partial pressure of the menthol. Um, and so we have our numbers here that we can just plug in. Uh, so we're going to have, let's see, uh, the partial pressure of the carbon monoxide is 4.2 atmospheres. Um, and then let me let me just not write units let me make it short um, and then we have the hydrogen so 8.4 squared um, and then that over the menthol which is 2.7 so let's do out the math 4.2 times 8.4 squared uh, divided by 2.7 so your KP is about uh, 110 and that is your answer let's go down to G the volume of the comp of the container is rapidly doubled with no change in temperature as equilibrium is re-established as the number of moles of menthol increase decrease or remain the same justify your answer by comparing the values of value of the reaction quotient Q with the value of the equilibrium constant well let's calculate your Q in terms of K if the volume is rapidly doubled, the partial pressure uh, of all of these species is going to have. So it's going to be one half times uh, one half squared over one half times Kp. All of these values are going to have. So if you want to compare Q and Kp, uh, we can do this. And what this comes out to is that um, Q is equal to one fourth Kp. Now, this means that your Q is less than your Kp. Um, and so the system is going to be like, how do I increase Kp? Well, you increase Kp by having more products. Um, and if you have more products, what that means is that your forward reaction is increased, meaning your reactant, your, menth your menthol is going to decrease. So CH3 
uh, OH decreases, decreases, and that is your answer. And that was question two. I hope you were able to learn something. Um, I have the rest of the uh, questions for this test in a playlist. I'll, it'll probably pop up. Um, again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace.